on a budget. But first, here's Todd to check out sports. Kevin Harvick and Casey Mears, Bakersfield's two big stock car drivers. We're going round and round at Daytona. We'll show you the action. Plus, we'll hoop it up. Big night of high school basketball. BHS against East, or BHS against Liberty, and East against Garces. That Garces East game went down to the last shot. We'll show it to you. Sports is next. All right, let's talk sports. Let's talk basketball tonight. Yeah, of all the local high school boys and girls leagues, most of the league championships have already been decided. Not the case with the boys southeast. Some hot matchups tonight. Yeah, huh? some hot highlights too. All right. Fasten your seatbelt, Tammy. <laughs> SEYL basketball with three games left entering tonight. It was a three team race. Liberty, East, and Garces all still in title contention. All three teams in action tonight. Liberty with one league loss traveling to driller territory. First half, beware the woods. Don't play in the woods. Rathael Woods of Liberty. The rejection right there down low. And then at the other end, check out Kalen Coleman. It looks like he's going to shoot it. Uh-uh. The pass. A tricky one right there to Weston Hill for the bucket. BHS with a great set here. Tim Billingsley back cut. And then he finds Cooper Dameron for the layup. BHS down eight at half. And you know it's a big game if BHS coach Greg Burt is wearing slacks. No jeans tonight for coach. Second half, Patriots turn on the power. Sam Marcus, he's dandy with the dribble and then the pass for the three. If Marcus was six foot one, he'd be the best all around basketball player in Kern County. He's that good. He'd be a sure D1 recruit. He's little and he's talented. Patriots pull away. They beat the drillers 85 55. Liberty stays tied for first place in league. How about Garces at East?